Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles. I come back to, to speak about this uh, ever important aspect of, of, of the spiritual ascension, which is the practice of meditation or contemplative meditation. To, to, uh, the idea is just to close your senses, to close your eyes, to close your ears and to turn them within. For it is, it is um, when we do that, it's like... Um, we we go into this this inner world that that is dark that is an unenlightened just yet yet there are many many secrets that we find and so you can lay down or sit down or it's, it's the idea is to be able to look at your source to observe your emotions to let them flow let them go without without interacting with them and so it is important to uh, to, to just close your eyes with the intention to turn to love, turn to love, and see how long can you turn to love. You can you can also do meditation with uh, support, like uh, watching a candle or do self hypnosis, or or you, or you can um, but or imagine uh, somebody you really love to envision this connection to love to to utilize. It can be a rainbow, it can be a nature, it can be anything that makes you feel good as, as a support. And then, uh, but then if there is the face of somebody that you do not like that has hurted you, just love them anyway for just an instant. You will discharge. If they come to you in your visions realm, in your meditation, whatever comes to you is an opportunity to, to love them even for an instant. Just let go of whatever the situation was. And so... And um, so, so because when we move into the silence and the solitude of that, that process of meditation, uh, we, we may have to face our greatest fear, our, our largest doubts, our, our, um, our blame, our shame, our regrets, all kinds of things can pop up and show up. But in deep contemplation, behind those veils, there is the deepest joy that is also hidden behind those energies. So if, if you go in nature, you can sit against a tree to meditate and you, will, you can use the energy of the tree to connect yourself to the earth. They are very grounded to use the serenity of the tree. They're very highly intelligent beings, even though we, we haven't found a way to communicate them. Um for they do not communicate verbally. So the, as, we, as, we, as we move deeper into meditation, the Holy Spirit can descend and the soul and the spirit can fuse. For the, eventually all things will dissolve into oneness. There will be no good or bad or we'll just stand in between. So it, it might lead us to a state of ecstasy and eh, to embrace the liquid light of truth, this great river, so the yin and the yang and the divine masculine mm -hmm. and feminine will just move through this river that traverses us. So so what we want to do is to seek the divinity within, to seek the divinity within, but it, it, the experience can be ecstatic, sometimes it is void, sometimes there is nothing, some, it, it's changing all the time, it's not like uh, we can command that experience of connecting, it is, it is the spirit that leads the, the I am presence that leads the, the, the show down there, down, down here in, 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 inside the heart. So um, the destiny that we seek is really the rewards of the, everything we've been working for, huh? it is beyond good and bad for it is do not judge just uh, just be um, be connected for there is no opposition to light to god to truth it's only the, the mind and the ego that created those separations so we need to dissolve that understanding your i am presence is a facet of the creator but it is the whole of the creator it has the potential to to, to fuse with your soul and to to realize the supreme values and meaning to to realize ultimate values and meaning absolute values and meaning and finite values and meaning of course it will happen step by step but um uh, there is a little meditation that you can do to accelerate the process. You visualize yourself, you imagine yourself in a crystal pyramid, in a beautiful field or whatever, and you move inside your crystal pyramid and in the middle of the pyramid there is, there is a crystal bed and you lay down on it and you call on your guides and your angels to, to scan you, to work on you, to, to, to clear, to, to heal, to... To, to bring back the, the, the energies of your chakras into alignment. You do this little meditation, it will greatly assist you. For every day we need to learn to, to sit with our divinity a little bit every day, to imagine that God is your best friend and you can sit with that divinity. Uh, for for the, the experience of the divinity with him will lead you to truth, freedom and understanding yeah, for all, all that... Um, so it is, it is recognizing that the, this aspect of this divinity is, is the whole of the creator. And, uh, uh, and when you connect to this, this inner divinity that is the whole of the creator, you realize that all the trees are the product, the creation of your own divinity. All the birds, all the sky, the sun, everything. For the, your love will expand to the whole planet. Our love will eventually expand to the whole planet. Eventually our consciousness will grow and will expand to the whole of the solar system. We'll embrace 
the solid three dimension of our solar systems and the 100th dimension of the galaxy and then the 352 dimension of the creator universe. So it is all, um, it is something that's ever expanding for when we turn to this divinity, we, we seek to, to dissolve, even, uh, there's going to be a great deal of, of fear and loneliness will dissolve or we'll, we'll find this connection, will be connected to everything behind form, the, to the nothingness of all uh, and, and yet the plenitude of all things. For it's like connecting to the frequency of the Creator. It is, it is usually the frequency of light. For for me, I connect to, to a very specific frequency. All the I work through all the colors and flows, but uh, but there's, there's a frequency of white and yellow light that connects me to the Creator, and that's what I I, I work with. I integrate. I, and so uh, I'm going to pull a few cards and uh, discuss a few more ideas. Ah, we have brand new cards here. Which, wow. The, the past is unity. We've realized this unity, but we want more of it. Huh? We want to connect to this unity. We want to dissolve the fear in order to, to expand into unity. What we, what we are now is renewal, brand new beginning. It's a new life, a new start. And the future is wealth, abundance, wealth. So it's like, uh, do not be afraid of wealth. Wealth is like, a, it, it's a, it is a natural state of the divinity. What we're working on now is, is liberation, it's freedom. It's, we seek to be free from the cycle. And the, the future will be listening, will be in touch with life. Life will continue to speak to us, to give us instructions. The, all the instructions will be, the heart will give us the instructions we need. For uh, for we have those seven chakras, those seven energetic chakras that uh, that are that are very they are like wheels. We want to slow down the frequency of all our chakras, to, to so they can fuse into this pillar of light eventually. And each chakra is connected to a different frequency of light. Let the light flow inside of you, each of the frequencies. Uh, for there is also seven sounds. So we can receive also the, the, the information of the chakras through the seven sounds. An, an octave, it's a, we want to move, eventually we'll move on to higher octaves of frequency. But for now, there's this divine frequency. Each chakra is connected to, to divine archangels, very powerful archangels, ascended masters and Elohims as well. So, so they're all working through that. Seven is a very mystic numbers on paradise. There's, a, there's many, many aspects of the of the the, the sevenfold enfoldment of things, but. On the most essential level, there are seven ways, uh, seven ways of divinity to, of perception of reality. It's seven super universe. Our seven, we are in the seven super universe, which is the, min, the ascension and ministry of the Father, Son, and Spirit combined. It's the most difficult one. It's the slowest one in growth. Yeah, the, the, and the first one is the, the fastest in growth. It's, it, the first one is as the uh, is the super universe as the, the father alone will would, uh, would would minister on it the second would be the eternal son the third the, the infinite spirit the fourth is the father and the son combined the fifth is the father and the spirit and the, the sixth is the son and, and the spirit but all all those are like the there are seven uh, divine counselors with seven different aspects of perceptions of divinity of um, there is always seven ways but it's, this is still may seem a little a little far, but it's those are spiritual realities. Um, for the soul is always okay with what is now. For it is the ego that's unsatisfied. And for the soul is bringing each moment of now. So as we tune into this inner self, this inner moment of now, we can find the, the connection to the soul, and the, the soul can descend and move with our spirit. The spirit is uh, uh, there is many octaves of the spirit. The spirit, the lowest octave is the ego. The highest octave is God, our uh, God self, and so. And the soul is, it would be standing in between, but it's, it can fuse down to the mortal consciousness and elevate us to the higher frequency of this. I'm just expressing some thoughts and ideas, but um, for it is, it is very slow to integrate the process of life, those higher truths. Huh? It is something that we, we need to integrate it uh, little by little until uh, to raise our frequency, until we can live it. Um, as, as we connect more and more, we can tap into the we can tap into the great wealth of information from from the cosmic mind, from the higher mind. But right now, there is a special dispensation that makes everything easier. It's easier to connect. If you ask, you receive a lot faster. If you, if you if you knock on the door, the doors will open um, sooner than they would. Uh, if you seek, you will find. 
So always seek to integrate, commit to memory whatever information you need in order to, 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 to practice your practices and live your truth. Uh, and also speak consciously, do not speak to say nothing, know when to keep silence, know when to speak so that, um, so that you don't dissipate your vital energy flow. So I'm going to pull a few cards. I come and wish you a good day. Thank you very much for listening, for, for, for sharing, for commenting, for liking, for subscribing, and for your donations. If you want a private reading, I do them on Skype or Telegram, um, on video conference <coughs> at our readings. I'll do a few more of those. The highest wisdom for us today is the exchange of gift. For this, it's going to be a great, uh, it's going to be Christmas every day, very soon. <laughs> it's going to be an exchange of gift. So you'll be both Santa Claus and the child who's receiving the gift. So it's about exchanging those gifts. What we need to understand is a step ahead, as to really have a few steps ahead, to really be already informed. If you follow your intuition, it will inform you of many aspects. They won't tell you everything. Your, your guides will not tell you everything, but they have many information for you to, to receive so that you can be prepared. What we need to do is milk and honey. What are those good things of life? What is it? What does make all those things? Sometimes it's the non-essential is what makes life good, so do not... Uh, Neglect the non-essential. Always ask for more than you need. Eh? It's like the same price. It doesn't cost more to, to make a prayer. Whatever prayer, when we pray, it means we, we feel we need something, we want something, and just you ask and then you trust that you will receive it. You don't like run after it. But already know what, what makes you feel good. And the outcome is flexibility. We're going to be able to be greatly flexible, to be able to adapt and flow and move uh, freely without, uh, without, um, without judgment. Without um, we're going to very this month will be very a lot of freedom in terms uh, will be given, and, and a lot of people are moved out of the fear that were that is offered in the media. They do not deserve your attention, all those, uh, those viruses, those vaccines. All it's a crime against humanity. Everybody will be held responsible. For personally, I, I had a big dose of that, a surdose, an overdose of information about this. It's like I cannot take it anymore. I live in, a, in this parallel world that uh, where well, this do no longer exist. And it's like uh, they want to sell you that's the eighth wave of viruses. There are 97 to come until the year 2037. Uh, uh, but it's, it's completely insane. It's like they're trying to prevent us from breathing. They're suffocating the world. Huh? It's like, that's my own view. But um, if you're sick, stay home. <laughs> if you're not sick, you don't need a mask. Huh? It is just like a flu. Those people who get the flu, these people that will die, die every year from the flu. It's, death is part of life. So it is our time. It's time we go. But if you, get, if you get fever, just take vitamin C. A lot of vitamin C. Take vitamin D. If you have a fever, take a bath with a baking soda and a little bit of white vinegar, apple cider vinegar, and you'll see the, the fever will go away. Huh? Uh, so, um, because we need to release those toxins huh? and we need to breathe in the light of the sun. So it's like uh, very important to, to 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 to, uh, to breathe in the to breathe in to breathe to breathe. Uh, very important. We, we, so so it is. Uh, I also wanted to. To note that uh, I don't recommend get vaccination, but most of the vaccines have been the vaccines have been detoxified by the galactics. They turned off a lot of the the toxicities in the vaccine and the 5G antennas have been transformed into Tesla towers. So whatever the, the dark plans are doing, the, there is this quantum measure from the light to turn whatever dark energy in, into light frequency. So. So just stay light and do not do not pay too much attention with uh, all those uh, those uh, tyrannical. Uh, it's, it's so absurd. It's sometimes it's like for me, it's like I can't even hear about anymore about all those programs. It's just uh, the, in the media, they're gonna try to to keep it keep it alive as much as long as possible to maintain their power and. Their, but but it's becoming very absurd, very very absurd. It's. Um, so I'm going to sing a song. It's a song I, I every it's a song that didn't, no song came to my mind, so I picked up one. I said, "Oh, this one looks good." So I'm going to sing about it. Sing it. It's a song that talks about uh, that our dreams cannot uh, uh, obligated to come true. The dreams are going to come true. <clears throat> it's like this. Oh, my life is changing every day in every possible way. 
Oh, my dreams, it's never quite as it seems, never quite as it seems. I know I felt like this before, but now I feel it even more because it came from you. And then I open up and see the person falling here is me, a different way to be. I want more, impossible to ignore, impossible to ignore. And they'll come true, impossible not to do, impossible not to do. And now I tell you openly, you have my heart, so don't hurt me, you're what I couldn't find. A totally amazing mind, so understanding and so kind, you're everything to me. Oh, my life is changing every day, in every possible way. Oh, my dreams, it's never quite as it seems, cause you're a dream to me, a dream to me. Yes, uh, we want more. When we test what, what really feels good to us, we want more. And it's okay. It's, there is nothing wrong about wanting more. Just, uh, but just be okay with the now as much as possible. Let go. Once you know what you want, you've been asking, it, it will be coming. As, as we don't um, feel frustrated, avoid the frustration of the, of the weight. And, and the card of the day is just about that. It's about balance, equilibrium, justice. It's the card of justice. It's the Archangel Ragiel. Fight for justice and equality. So remain true to yourself. Do not compromise what's important for you. Judgment in your favor. Do not give up. Huh? Hold on to the... the, the, the uh, everything will shift very soon. We've got to be patient and we've, uh, but just tune in to whatever life is, is imp what's important for you that you can do that's within your power and trust everything else to God. I thank you very much. I wish you a wonderful, wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Namaste.